If you have ever read The E-Myth Revisited, you know the core message. To truly scale your business, you've got to work on it, not just in it. And that means building systems, creating processes, and ultimately freeing yourself up from the day-to-day -day grind. But let's be real, documenting your process is a lot of work. You spend hours, you build out the entire workflow, you put it into Notion. How much time do people actually spend reviewing it and actually using that process you built? And then you have to update the process. It is a lot of work. If you are looking to get true freedom from this biggest hurdle that most businesses run into, then you have absolutely chosen the right video to watch because today we are talking about a tool called Scribe. I'm going to show you at a high level how to use it and get the most value from it to be able to document your processes, create workflows honestly in an instant. And if we haven't met before, my name is David and I run a completely async autonomous team that runs on different time schedules. If they have kids and they got to drop them off in the morning, whatever, they're able to do that because our team works off of flows and processes that everyone is on board with and I'm gonna show you how we actually document it now before we jump in I have partnered with scribe to get you a special discount just for my audience if you use that link down below you're gonna get an extra discount on your plan when you sign up today and yes it is an affiliate link but this video is not sponsored so I am gonna give you my full review unfiltered on scribe the benefits the best parts and some things I wish they did better. So use that link down below to get started and we're gonna dive into the video now. All right, so let's get into the core question. What exactly is Scribe? And why should you, if you're a busy entrepreneur, dedicated team leader, or aspiring freelancer care? At the heart of it, Scribe is an incredibly intelligent tool that automatically generates visual step-by-step -step guides for any process that you perform on your laptop. Think about that for a second. Imagine being able to create a detailed, easy to follow how-to guide for literally anything within moments and be able to send it directly to a team member with a link, not have to wait hours, not have to take screenshots and then upload screenshots and organize screenshots. The software does it all for you and prepares it into a link that you could send to your entire team in a moment. And this isn't about adding more work to your plate. If anything, this additional layer of work is gonna boost productivity. Scribe actually says on their website that your team's productivity will rise by 25%. That's actually kind of insane, but it's the truth. And that's why the E-Myth Revisited is one of the most popular books out there. But the basic premise is just build systems. So you are saving time on training, you're saving time on documenting workflows, and you're saving your team's time by allowing them to automatically be able to get the answer they need without having to wait for you to create a new workflow or schedule a call or any of that. It's already in a document for them that they can just skim through, go through the process, and be able to get the answers they need without interrupting their work. This is truly about working smarter and not harder. Plus, I'm a big fan because because they don't overpromise what they deliver on. In a sense, they give you exactly what you want. Some other tools try to take your users through an onboarding process, but it's not always about an onboarding process. It's strictly sometimes about one specific technical issue. And so you can use this as a tool however you like. You could record 100 scribes and then have a bunch of them that you send to team members or send them a link with all of them or put these all into a Notion page. Whatever you want and however you wanna design this, you can and it delivers on their core promise. Now, let's talk about how it works. The setup is incredibly simple. Now, let me give you three straightforward steps once you do have the extension downloaded. Step one, you can capture any process. Whether you are navigating a new CRM or filling out a form online or demonstrating some complex software feature, you could do this silently in the background while Scribe is watching and taking screenshots. So you basically, step one, turn on the extension with one click and then go to work on whatever process you want to document. Now, step two, once you've done that and hit complete, you can now customize that specific workflow. So Scribe will generate all the screenshots and 
send text that goes along with the screenshots. And then you could go in to either combine, delete, remove, or add more detail where it needs. Scribe's intuitive editor is really easy to work with. And you could also brand it with your company's logo, colors, to make it look and feel like your business. Which leads us to step three, and it's probably one of my favorites. You could just share it with one click. Now, you don't have to think, oh, I gotta go build this process, document it, and then make this huge announcement. Honestly, someone could email you from the team or something could come up where someone doesn't know how to do a specific task. You record the process as you get the task done, finalize it, customize it if you need, and then send them a link. And boom, just like that, you have saved so much time and energy. And not only that, add it to Notion or Confluence or SharePoint, you name it, whatever tool you use to manage your knowledge base for your company, you add it in there and then your entire team has access to it. Which this leads us to specific use cases that can be beneficial to you. So who is Scribe for and how can you specifically leverage it for your team? Honestly, the possibilities are endless, but let me name off a few that I think are really important. First and foremost, I've kind of said it already, but the onboarding of a new hire, you could get team members set up quickly so they download all the right tools and software. You could create comprehensive visual training materials so they can get started, understand your process, your team, even your culture, and be able to take that step on their own time and not have to wait for you or do a three hour call with you to get onboarded. Next, if you're really trying to leverage the work on your business, not in your business method, you need to create SOPs. Any specific process you want to create SOP for, you could do it with Scribe, have access to it immediately and reduce errors where you could be on the phone with someone and say, hey, click here and they're clicking on something else or they can't find it. You could create every single how to guide that you want. It is no wonder that over a million teams, yes, you heard me right, a million teams globally are already using Scribe. Plus their pricing model is really affordable. If you consider that you would hire, let's say a virtual assistant to go in and document these workflows for you and go through the process, this would take hours. So for $29 a month, you can get everything. You could start for free, but when you really get into it and you wanna use the tool for $29 a month, you can get a lot of value. Plus again, that promo code down below is gonna give you even a discount on that. But this entire plan to get started, to build them out, to then be able to even export it as a PDF, that is awesome. And I know this is not the sexiest topic, but it is so worthwhile because once you create the SOPs, your team knows how to operate at the right level, at the right level of excellence and scale. That way you could hire new people or if someone even just transitions, they get a new opportunity, they're gonna move state, whatever it might be, they can then leave without necessarily taking all the knowledge they have. You could have ways of documenting all that knowledge or have your team document that knowledge that way you have it on hand so whoever you hire next will be able to access it. And if you want me to create a video about this and how I use it, I could do that. I could definitely walk you through my process of how I create SOPs, what I think about keeping in or getting rid of to make it efficient, easy and simple for the end user. But for now, let's just stay high level in this video and show you a few other things worth considering. Now, while Scribe is an absolute powerhouse, it is really important to know what it does do and what it doesn't do. First, Scribe is focused on creating step-by-step -step visual guides. This means that it is not a video recording tool. So if you are trying to record a video and capture audio, this is not gonna work for you. You could check out a tool like Loom or something else that will be able to record the videos for you and create links. What I have found is SOPs are best when it's done in a tool like Scribe or set up in a way like Scribe versus a talking head video like this or a tutorial that is more of a video style. With an SOP in Scribe, it is more digestible and someone can go exactly where they need to go in the process, maybe skip the first few steps because they've already done it or they know it and go to the specific area that they need to find an answer for. 
Also, after Scribe generates the initial guide, I do recommend that you go through it. The raw material from start to finish sometimes captures too many little moments. I'm a web developer by trade, and so sometimes as I was going through the process, I have to click out of something, and so Scribe would document that, but I don't necessarily need that in the documented workflow. I would just have to go in there and delete specific moments where I'm literally just trying to click out of a module, and I don't want that to eat up the scribe and the how to and make it really long when it doesn't need to be that long. It's not a lot of work, but it is an important step to consider. Finally, it is worth knowing that there is a soft limit of 200 steps in any workflow. You could extend this, but they do this just because sometimes you may accidentally turn it on and forget that you turned it on. And so it limits it at 200, but you can go beyond that. So if you're ready to stop wasting time on tedious documentation or ignoring documentation and repeating yourself over and over again, you wanna get out of the day to day and offer your team the ability to be empowered to take those next steps without having to wait for you to respond. This is for you. Try out Scribe today with the link down below. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.